Hey guys, Tim Gillette, Rocker Life Coach, coming to you today for our seven part series on how to be the rock star where you're at right now. I know that's what uh, everyone asks me. They said, man, Tim, how can I be successful now? So I'm going to give you seven keys and seven different lessons on how you can become successful at the very things you're doing now, which will build a platform for you to have a continued built platform of success. So it's kind of like building a house. Step by step, brick by brick, one success goes on top of another. And before you know it, you've got a successful house built. Well, we're going to start with the first brick. Because where you're at now, you want to be successful there. So let's take this whole idea of building a success system at the brick you're on right now. Whether it be your current job, your current business, maybe it's even just a current uh, uh, organization that you volunteer your time on. You want to be successful at everything you do. When I went back through my life and I looked at all of the things I did, I realized that these seven things were the very things that helped me become successful at every thing I did. It helped me shine, become a star, or look like a star because I wanted to be successful and until I found out the actual house I wanted to build, I needed to be successful along the way. So when I look back, I realize these seven steps is what I did every time. Today we're going to talk about the first step. The first step is to be observant of where you're at. Do you ever see that person, the guy or the girl that comes into your organization? And let's say you're in a group and there's the one guy who wants to be the hot shot. He thinks he knows everything or he pretends to know everything. And because he does that, he dives right in and he takes control and takes leadership and he has no clue what he's doing. He doesn't know what's going on. He, he hasn't been there to know the history. So step one I've done in every situation where I became successful was first I walked in and I was observant of what was going on. Observant. Observe your situation. If you walk into a job, know what's going on. Know how the thing operates. Know how the system works. I mean, observe it. Don't walk in. Don't look in and pretend like, hey, I'm the hot shot. I can do it. I go to an event. I start a job. I start any, you know, a project. I walk in and I observe. I want to see what is working or what is not working to begin with. Because you can't make decisions without knowing these things and have it become successful right. So every job that I've taken on, every time I got involved in, in literally in charitable organizations, my church, or you know, dealing with uh, ministries I was involved in, with, dealing with organizations that did volunteer work in my community, I didn't walk in and play the boss. I walked in and just watched others. Now, you're doing some work while you're there, but you're being observant of everything that's going on. Now, if you weren't observant, you wouldn't know where your opportunity is to act. So that's why the step number one is to be observant. Because you're walking in there looking for your opportunity. Your opportunity that's going to bring your success. And you have to come in and find out where it's at. So step number one is be observant of your situation. Whether you're just starting the job now or you've been in the job for, for months on end and just can't seem to get out of it. Take a step back, if you are, and be observant of what's going on around you. Come back next week, find out the next step in our seven-step process of how you can be successful at where you are now. I'm Tim Gillette, the Rocker Life Coach. Thanks for watching.